Hey everybody, so this is going to be our first video on Tasker. Um, we're actually not going to be doing anything with Tasker today other than downloading it, installing it, and taking a look at the interface, which many of you guys might have already done and gotten a little intimidated by what it is. You can read in the description, it talks about how good it is, it can automate everything from setting to photos, SMS to speech, ADC to prize winner, etc. And it sounds really good. It sounds like, man, I'm going to be able to automate all sorts of things. But as you can see here, once you actually download it and it installs, you open it, it can be really intimidating. I know when I first started uh, using Tasker, I had no idea what to do. Um, I was a little taken back by it. I feel like I had it installed on my phone for weeks and I didn't even, you know, do anything. You get a disclaimer here. Quick overview. But this is really confusing. I mean, you're talking about contacts, tasks, and then it just right there leads you down to click these guides to find out how to do stuff. It's like, okay, whatever, you know, get me to the app. So you go, and it goes, how to profile. That's it. I mean, there's really, it's a really plain interface, and that's probably the number one flaw of Tasker. But once you get over the interface and you actually figure out how to use it, it's a great app, guys. Some of the things that we're going to learn how to do in Tasker through this video series are going to be automating things like when X happens, do Y. So a good example of that is when I connect to Wi-Fi, um, you know, maybe turn, turn the ringer volume down or turn the brightness up or whatever. I mean, that's a good example. If any of you are familiar at all with programming, it's basically that if this, then that logic. So everything in Tasker just about that you're going to do at least through this video series, is going to be like, if A, then Y. You know, like, if I um, turn off my Bluetooth, turn on my Wi-Fi automatically. So what Task is going to do is it's going to um, make your phone automatically do things. For example, I cannot remember the last time I had to go to my volume rocker and turn it to vibrate. Or turn it back up from vibrate. I mean, it just happens automatically for me. And that all happens through Tasker. So those are just a couple examples of what we're going to learn, what to do. I suggest everybody download Tasker, have it installed, and, you know, even look through some of those guides, read through, you know, that initial pop-up. Try and start playing around with it. If you can figure it out, great. You'll be ahead of, you know, the rest of us as we learn how to do things step-by-step -step through the video series. If you guys have any suggestions, any things you want to learn, leave them down at the comments. Make sure you subscribe, share this video, and, yeah, expect new videos every week. Thank you. God bless.